Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is March the 22nd, 2016. This is also known as National Goof Off Day. Folks, I happen to be the master at Goof At the time of writing this, 7.01 p.m. Eastern Time, we have experienced 291 earthquakes. This brings our weekly total to 1,234, and it bumps our monthly total to 6,189. The strongest for the day struck Bitung, Indonesia. This was a 5.0 just outside of Mount Tambora. Now, if you aren't familiar with Tambora, the eruption of 1815 produced one of the most powerful eruptions in recorded history. That's wild. This was not the only earthquake that rocked their region, though. They experienced a 4.5 in Kota Tarnate. As it stands now, Indonesia has clocked in 59 earthquakes since the beginning of the month. The least impacting earthquake was a magnitude 4, and the most intense was a 7.8 that struck Sumatra on March the 2nd. Fiji experienced two earthquakes today, a 4.4 and a 4.3, all of which struck the Nidoi Islands. Moving along the Ring of Fire, we'll see that Japan experienced a 4.8. Russia experienced yet another earthquake today. Actually, make that two, one being a 4.7 and the other being a 4.4. For the month, Russia has registered 14 earthquakes, the average magnitude being a 4.7. We saw five strike Hawaii today, three of which struck Pahala, the most intense being a 1.9. As it stands now, we have seen 159 earthquakes in and around Hawaii this month. Moving across the Eurasian plate will set our attention upon Afghanistan, where today they experienced a 4.5. Now, this area has been somewhat busy this month. We reported a 5.3 on March 21st and a 4.6 on March the 2nd that struck Pakistan. Tajikistan has clocked in three this month, with the most intense being a 5.4 that rocked the area just a few days ago on March the 18th. Afghanistan has had six thus far for the month, with today's 4.5 being the most intense. I think it's interesting that these neighboring countries experience so much seismic activity. Speaking of neighbors, we'll see that Turkey registered a 4.5 today, along with their neighbor Cyprus with a 4. Before we focus on the states, I'd like to call out an unusual earthquake that struck the Caribbean today. Jamaica, of all places, experienced a 3.8. Now here's a little history for you guys, and I think you'll find it to be interesting. In 1692, what is known as the Jamaican earthquake struck Port Royal on June the 7th. A stopped pocket watch was found in the arbor in 1969 that indicated that the earthquake occurred at 11.43 a.m. Anyways, looking at the states, we'll begin with Alaska. They definitely appear to be returning to normal as they have only clocked in 30 earthquakes today. The most intense being a 3.4 that shook the Aleutian Arc and our pals in Atka. California has been quiet today. Only 82 earthquakes clocked in so far. The most intense only being a 2.1 in Kernville. So, what do you guys think? Has California's earthquake quiet had anything to do with the seismic swarm striking Nevada? Speaking of which, Nevada has seen well over 133 earthquakes today, the majority of which originated from Hawthorne once again. Today, the most intense was a 4.1, followed by a 2.8. So, what are your thoughts on this? Is this purely the result of faults or of their surrounding volcanoes? Washington has only seen three, and Oregon registered one. All were very minor. Oklahoma has clocked in six so far, all of which were also very minor. Our pals in Burnsville, North Carolina, were once again struck with an earthquake. They actually experienced a small tremor on March the 1st. This earthquake registered as a 1.6. I think it's particularly interesting as it goes to show that the East Coast continues to move care of the deformed craton. Finally, keep your eyes peeled as tomorrow. Per our earthquake model, we have a heightened chance to experience a magnitude 6 or greater. Everything that is happening and will happen should prove to be interesting. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. If you experienced an earthquake today or if you'd like to chat, please post below. We'd like to hear from you. Make certain to like and subscribe. Share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. We'll end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys.